you know, how big of a problem is is the cocaine in the city now? I mean, no, no one's denying it's a massive problem. Um, you know yourself. I mean, I'll use an example. I went to I went to the races. I won't say which race course, so it wouldn't be fair. Recently, and you know, twenty years ago, there'd be a massive queue for the urinals. There's a massive queue for the cubicles, and that's not because everyone's had a bad curry the night before, is it? <laughs> So, yeah, you can say whatever you go. It's the same. I mean, you go for a night out in town, it's the same situation. Uh, there's, a, there's a large problem. There's a big problem with cocaine, quite simply. And it's not, you know, it, it, it's right across society. It's not just your working class lads. It's right through your middle classes and everybody else who are doing it. And people seem to think that it's acceptable. Well, you know, it, it's really not because the links it has to organised crime. And it that damages you, but people know the health risks. They're prepared to take those health risks. And it's the same with cannabis. I mean, a lot of people will say, let's 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 legalize cannabis. That won't stop your shootings and your gang problems because they'll just find another commodity to jump on the back of, you know. So it's a problem, and also as we know, it can raise people's excitement levels, increase violence in the city centres, which is what we see quite often. So it's a problem. It's a problem throughout. What, what's your view? Sorry, Tom. What's your view on? It's such a hard thing for you then, as, as your position that you've been in. What are you like, for example, when you're at the races or when you're going for a meal with your missus or whatever, you're out with the lads, whatever? What are you like when is it kind of quite difficult for you to be right? I'm not chief constable for a minute. I just need to go for a piss. I mean, how do you how do you play that? Yeah, I mean, I, you've got to be sensible about it. I'm not going to go around kicking cubicle doors in <laughs> with the wife. <laughs> That's just, you know, you know, you know what's going on. Right, so I, I, you're never off duty as a police officer but you've got to be sensible as well I mean you'd spend your whole life dealing with, with small issues and at the end of the day the users aren't necessarily the problem it's those who are dealing with hmm. so. Does it, I've just found something online I, I, I don't know how, this is from the Guardian anyway, it says 5.3% um, uh, of people aged between 15 and 34 in the UK took cocaine in 2018 to be honest I thought it would be higher than that actually oh, yeah. Um, but what's interesting is that uh, was it 181 tons of cocaine was seized. It's massive. I mean, massive seizures going on. I mean, that is insane, isn't it? Policing, the NCA, border force working together have some great, great successes. But it's a drop in the ocean to what's coming in because it's very, very rare that you get a drug shortage. So it gets in, it gets in some way, you know, and it's it's it's, it's a constant issue, constant problem. And purity, I believe, is hit. Uh, it says here purity is hit uh, unprecedented levels as well. It used to be cut far more than it is now. So it's it, in some ways it's a little bit healthier than it used to be. That's I'm not saying it's okay to use it, but it's not. It's, it mm. used to be bashed so much into. 40, 50% purity, now you're up at 80% purity, so it's a lot stronger. It's like cannabis. I mean, cannabis in the 60s and early 70s was about 10 times weaker than the skunk that you get now. So it's, it's massively different. It's not the same drugs, you know. 